Recently, a large group gathered in Albuquerque, shouting the names of missing or murdered indigenous women, demanding more of our communities start caring about something they've known about for a while. Right now, it's a huge crisis. Michelle Curtis was at that rally. It's overlooked, I would say. She's the sex trafficking project coordinator at the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women. She works with the families of those who were killed or who are missing. Indigenous people are not looked at as important. So with these cases now, it's difficult to get that coverage, to get that immediate response. According to the CDC, homicide is the fifth leading cause of death for American Indian and Alaska Native women between 25 and 34 years old. The coalition believes the root of all this began with colonization and a history of violence against Native women and children in New Mexico. Curtis says that legacy of violence continues today in different ways. Stats show four out of five Native women are affected by violence. And the federal government found American Indian women face murder rates that are more than 10 times the national average. The families I've worked with, they have hope that they will find answers on, who, on their loved ones who are missing. They want that closure, they want justice. She says the areas in and around Gallup, Farmington and Albuquerque are where most of these women are disappearing from. It could be, you know, just a woman being alone, going to the grocery store and then she never comes home. It could be anyone who, you know, is looking for a better opportunity in life and then they want to get out of their, the reservation and then they go into urban areas. So coming to cities, then they get, you know, victimized by traffickers because they're really, they're really good at finding vulnerable people. And one of the biggest struggles for those fighting to solve these cases, law enforcement jurisdiction. Federal, tribal, and local authorities create a web these investigations get tangled in and the cases often go cold. It's just elongated, like it'll take forever for the the perpetrator to be prosecuted. Right now, one of their biggest tools in this fight. Raise awareness. Rallies, social media posts, interviews. Curtis says these names, these faces, have been ignored for too long. It's been an issue for a long time. It's been a crisis. Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News.